Welcome back to the channel. It's the one and the only Douglas Habian. What you see here on the screen are two adapters, commonly referred to as Wi-Fi adapters, external Wi-Fi adapters. This one right here is a more popular and more known one that you could pick up from all of your uh, main retailers, your very large uh, retailers. Go to the electronics department and you're likely to see this same adapter or something very similar. I like this adapter. I do use this adap adapter a lot. I like the fact that it's slim and it has a USB 3, um, a USB plug on, on the end. You can, you can, uh, as you just saw, you can open it up like that. And it actually comes with a, a base that you can plug it into that has a larger uh, cord on it to make the make it able to extend further. It was pretty nice, about $50, I think, is what I paid for this. And if I were using this on my laptop, which is typically what I'm using it on, I'm just gonna plug it in the side like that into the USB 3 port. Now, this other adapter that I have here, this is an Alpha Wi-Fi adapter. And if I show you the, the back here, um, you can see the, the model number right there. This is AWUS uh, 036. That 036 is really what um, uh, identifies this, distinguishes it from other um, Alpha Wi-Fi adapters, because there are several that, that is made by Alpha. And you can see this is um, a dual band one antenna for each band, one for 2.4, et cetera. And um, this was about $60. You cannot purchase this from, from your main retail stores. You'd have to go online to get this. So basically what I want to uh, talk about is um, uh, the main differences in how you would be using these and, and why you would be choosing something like this over this. Clearly, you can tell just by looking at this that this is going to be probably much more powerful and that is that is accurate you know it has these antennas on it and you can take these antennas and you can move them around like this and you could you know put one this way and put one put one that way and you can you can adjust this in so many different ways to maximize your um, your signal strength and what you can do with this that you cannot do with your normal Wi-Fi adapter like this, so you can change the mode on these. You can put this into monitor mode and allow this to scan the air, and you would not be able to do that with this. And we're gonna go into doing stuff like that in, um, in the next video. So this does not, as you can see, it doesn't have uh, any USB plug um, sticking out of the end, so it actually comes with a, a, a cable, a really nice cable. I don't have that cable with me right now. Um, this is one of the other ones I use as a backup. You can see it's type C on both ends, and this takes a, a type C. And I'm gonna show you here how, um, you would, how you would do this. So you have to make sure that the cable you're using, if it's not the one that is provided with it, you have to make sure that the cable you're using is not just a charging cable. Because some cables, they charge, but they don't transfer data. So you have to make sure that the cable is able to transfer data. And uh, you want a decent cable. It's going to be faster using Type-C to Type-C, but you can get some that will do, it'll be, a, um, it'll be, have a different ending, and then you put an attachment on it to make it Type-C, and that works as well. But simply, I'm just going to plug the one end into that side, and then I'm gonna plug the other end into this US, um, USB Type-C uh, port on my laptop. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you here. I am currently editing a video for you guys right now, and um, I'm using KDN Live. Let me go ahead and exit out of, out of that. and open up a new terminal. And um, what I basically, and I'm gonna show you this both ways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screen record 
and show you the, the, uh, the video from this perspective. Go ahead and make this font a little, little bigger here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, obviously I'm just gonna plug this into the laptop, but um, one of the things you might wanna do if you've never done this before, because um, these typically, with a lot of Linux systems, they don't work default. You usually have to install drivers and so forth. So one of the things that I might do before I plug it in is just run sudo um, dmessage. And um, I'm going to add a dash w flag so that it continues showing me kernel messages in real time instead of just giving me everything and stopping. So when I run sudo dmessage dash w, you see it throws me all these kernel messages from the kernel ring buffer, but it doesn't exit out. So anything that I continue to plug in, it's gonna to continue to show me those messages. That's what the dash W flag is, um, is doing right there. So what you're gonna see is, I'm gonna plug this in and if we see the messages showing on the, on the, on the screen here, that's a good sign. That's, that's letting us know this is probably working and that the, the system is recognizing it because if, um, if nothing was showing, then it's saying you probably don't have the drivers or something is not installed or set up properly to be able to communicate. So what we want to see is messages scrolling. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in and we're going to watch the screen. And you can see it is recognizing it and it's immediately telling us we have a manufacturer, Realtek, we have a serial number and um, that's what we want to see right there. And if we go over here to the actual Wi-Fi adapter itself, you look at the, um, at the screen, you should see, um, you should see it blinking blue. Now, I'm actually not seeing it blinking blue. And that might be because of, um, the fact that in a previous video that I made, I actually killed, um, I ran sudo airmon ng check kill. So I'm gonna have to probably restart my net network um, adapter. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, sudo uh, service, um, capital N, I believe. It's been a while since I had to run this command actually. So, um, should be sudo service uh, network manager, I think is what it is, network uh, manager. Restart. And I see up here, we had some action. And yeah, that's exactly what it was. So in the previous video that I made, um, I ran the uh, airmon ng check and then killed um, app applications and uh, things that would interfere with putting it into monitor mode. And then I forgot about that. So uh, that's why that happened. So now if we go back over here to the Wi-Fi adapter. You see that it's blinking blue and that's a great sign. So if you plug this in and it's blinking blue, you pretty much know you are ready to go that this thing is configured and everything is set up. If you don't see it blinking blue, well, you're going to have to troubleshoot. Do you have drivers installed or not? Did you get any message at all from, from dmessage? Um, I didn't know that this was gonna happen, but that's a good thing that it did happen because this is a common issue you may run into and not realize what happened or what you're supposed to do about it. We saw I had um, message, uh, messages from plugging it in, scrolling to uh, the, uh, be an output to the screen by dmessage, but still something was going on there because it was, it was not blinking blue. And as you see, that was because I had to restart the network, uh, network manager. So if I clear the screen and I run uh, dmessage again, and this time I'm not doing the dash W, we come down here and, and, and we still see pretty much the same stuff. I can also do LS USB and you will see uh, this command tells you everything that's attached to, uh, to the laptop via USB internally and externally. And you can see right here on this line that um, 
this is pertaining to, to our Wi-Fi adapter right here. And it's on bus one and, and it's being identified as device nine. If you really wanna get, um, uh, take this up a notch, uh, you could actually do uh, LS, run LS USB again. Um, sorry, LS USB and LS USB dash V for verbosity and then dash S to specify a specific device. And as we see, it's on bus one. So I'll do one and then I'll do a colon and then the device number, which is uh, nine. And what you see is a very large amount of output. It's giving you a much um, more detailed um, information uh, from, from the LS USB command. Now, that is, um, that is what it looks like. Okay, that is, that's how that looks. And then in the next video, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll delve into um, what commands you might be using um, on this, um, on interacting uh, with this uh, Alpha Wi-Fi adapter. So uh, see you in the next episode. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you guys for watching.